Hi, I'm Lori Vanderwall, one of the staff zoologists, and this is the Turpentine Creek Podcast. This week's cat of the week is Whitney. <laughs> As you can see, her rubbing behind me. She was rescued um, from a big rescue we call our Quitman Rescue, because it was down in Quitman, Arkansas in 2002. There was a gentleman who owned over 50 big cats, um, had them basically privately owned them and was getting in some trouble with the USDA um, and had to get rid of his cats. He actually had four animals escape on his property, um, ended up all getting um, put down because um, they were running free. And uh, after that happened, laws changed and he was forced to get rid of all his animals. Now we rescued 21 of those 50 cats. The rest went to another facility in Tennessee, so they were all uh, saved. Um, and uh, when they came to the refuge, they weren't in very good conditions. The gentleman wasn't looking after them very well. They had a lot of nutritional issues, some bone density issues, some had some bad teeth. Um, when they got here, we had a, spent a lot of money on uh, medical care for them. Um, but they've been doing pretty well um, ever since then. Whitney was rescued along with uh, her sister and two brothers. Um, she actually has been really, really healthy since she's been here until um, a few weeks ago. We noticed her limping on one of her legs pretty poorly, so we took her to the vet. We did this in a previous podcast, had all the information at the vet, and it was determined that she had some soft tissue damage. Um, she uh, was basically told to go on bed rest, which for a tiger is a little difficult, so it turns into kind of cage rest. She's been housed in this uh, trailer until then where there's no, no uh, den to jump on, no benches, and where she's kind of confined in space so she can't uh, do too much activity and let that, that, let that soft tissue heal. She's doing great now. As you can see, she's walking back and forth and, and uh, able to get around. She still has a slight limp, so we're still going to keep her... Um, confined for a little while. We're actually getting ready to move out of the trailer, move back down to her lockdown area, which is a little bit more space, um, until she completely heals, and after that she'll be able to go back out in her habitat and enjoy the uh, space she has. Um, if you want to come see um, any of the cats, it's a great time to come. I know spring breaks are occurring and so, the weather's getting warmer. She can come on out to the refuge um, anytime from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. We have our regular tours from 11 to 4, and feeding time is at 5 o'clock every day. Hi, we're going to do a quick recap on Bibi and Mac, um, a couple of our tigers here. They were born back in May of 2008, and uh, many of you may know them if you've been watching the podcast and come out to the refuge. They had some health issues when they were younger. Um, they had to go um, all the way up to K-State and, and had a ton of testing and stuff on them. They were found that they had um, so really low bone density, and in order to sort of repair this and get them healthy again, um, we uh, did several different things. We kept them originally in, in uh, pretty confined areas so they can't move around much and, and let the, uh, some of the injuries heal. They were also put on a special diet um, of, uh, of meat that comes from a company called Triple A. Um, this meat is perfectly designed for big cats. It's, uh, it's actually an entire animal completely ground down, so it's got all the muscle meat, all the organ meat, and all the bone um, for them, which is really, really good and healthy for them. They're also on special supplements, different from the other cats. They get additional calcium to help their bone growth, um, and then um, other vitamins as well. And you can see this uh, special diet in the, the original confined space has really helped them. Um, they <laughs> are up and active now all the time. Now, BB and Mac are still on this diet. Um, it's something that we do buy. Most of the, the food for the animals gets uh, donated to the refuge, which is a big help for us because we go through about 800 to 900 pounds every single day. Um, but these guys, because they're on the special diet, on something that costs 64 cents a pound, which actually sounds pretty cheap, but if you multiply that by 5 to 7 pounds every single day times 2, um, it gets pretty expensive. So anything you can do to help support the animals and support the refuge will help um, keep Vivian and Mac healthy and, and doing good for the rest of their lives.